Hey everyone, so today is wash day and we're going to be doing my clarifying wash day according to my hair growth calendar. Hey Z stars, what's good in the proverbial hood? It's your girl, Zara, popularly and lovingly known, of course, as Epic Zara, and I'm back with another video. Today I'm finally divulging all of the secrets surrounding my legendary wash day routine. After many years of seeking the perfect wash day routine and never ever getting it right, I finally found the one. This has been my routine for the past three years and it's the one that's taken my hair and my scalp to the absolute next level. Today, we're going to be focusing heavily on scalp care and we're using a number of homeopathic remedies for the scalp and hair health. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for this routine for as long as I can remember, but you've asked and you're finally receiving. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. But of course, before we do, please be sure to comment down below. Let me know what your wash day routine is like. Give this video one big thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy this type of content. Be sure to share this video with your friends and of course your loved ones. And last but never ever can be least, please subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. And of course, watch the ads all the way through so I can keep this channel extremely sustainable for you. Bars. <laughs> okay, y'all, let's get right into the video. Well, the first thing that we're going to do, which I actually was unable to capture on camera, unfortunately, is using our chemical exfoliant. Now the chemical exfoliants, which I use, and of course I've mentioned it before, if you're an avid watcher of my channel, is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toning Solution. I basically apply it to my hair, well not my hair, only my scalp. I do it in sections, making sure to massage it into my scalp really well. And I do that the night before my wash day. That way it has time to actually exfoliate, deeply exfoliate my scalp, remove debris or rather break up the debris and essentially prepare my scalp for my extensive wash day routine. This step also prepares the hair and the scalp to receive the really incredible nutrients found in the recipes that we're going to be using this wash day. So when I'm pre-pooing my hair, I actually use my Ambunu jelly recipe or my aloe jelly recipe. In this particular video, I did use my aloe jelly recipe, which is in my recipe Bible. Now I'm not going to get into exactly how I make it in this video because I'll make it extremely long, but you all can check that out in the top right corner, my recipe Bible, which is always 20% off, at least for now. <laughs> so be sure to check that out. Alternately, you can check out my hair growth bundle, which is 35% off. You can get the calendar that I referenced to ultimately do my wash day routine, the planner that will help you keep track of what you're using in your hair and what you're doing to your hair on a day-to-day -day basis. You will get the recipe Bible, as well as the Holy Grail, which features other products that I use in this particular video that I did not make myself. So of course, be sure to check that out again in the top right corner, but let's get back into this wash day routine. So now that I've briefly gone over how to exfoliate your scalp, let's move on to the pre-shampoo process. Now I'm going to show you guys briefly what I do. We're not going to go through it blow by blow, so to speak, because I've already done a video, which you can also access in the top right corner so you can see how I pre-poo in depth. Now, without further ado, let's get right into this process because I need to wash my hair and set it as quickly as possible. I have a lot of things going on this week. The following day, I used my aloe vera jelly, which is a recipe from my recipe Bible. It's one of many plant mucilages colloquially termed plant gels present in my recipe bible and my current favorite for detangling my hair and treating my scalp. And what I love about this one in particular is it makes my hair extremely soft without making it crusty in the way that the Ambunu does. Of course, like I stated in my other video, which again is in the top right corner, I'm using it because my hair needs an extra dose of amino acids. My aloe vera jelly provides amino acids as well, but it's not as potent as the Ambunu, so it also makes my hair extremely soft whilst balancing the protein in my hair. So as you can see, I'm just putting it on very generously and I'm also going to put it all over my scalp. I use it as a scalp exfoliant and scalp treatment for my very sensitive scalp. I also apply my carrot oil, another recipe Bible recipe, prior to putting it on my hair. 
Even though my hair is not high porosity, hair is mostly made of lipids. To my knowledge, it's helpful to support the hair's natural structure by using oils in a productive way. If your hair is high porosity, pre-pooing with a penetrative oil is transformative. It prevents the absorption of too much water and helps to occlude moisture inside the hair shaft. This prevents your hair from drying out too quickly, but also prevents overswelling that could lead to long-term damage. Even if your hair is not this length, this step is a great way to preserve hair, retain length, fortify, heal, nourish the scalp, and prevent breakage. Okay, so we're good to go. Let's leave this on for a few hours and then we're going to move on to shampooing. Great, so following the pre-shampoo, we jump right into our shampoo. I actually like to do my shampooing out of the shower because my hair is pretty long at this point and it saves a lot of time, a lot of water. So anyway, let's get right into that and I'll talk to you all about exactly how I conduct this particular process. This is the most important step for me. This is where I clean my scalp and my hair and ensure that I've removed all the dead skin and debris from my scalp especially. Depending on the day of the month, I'll use a clarifying shampoo or a moisturizing shampoo. All this is determined by my hair growth calendar. So of course, for those of you that are new, I do have five hair growth calendars, but it's 50% off. So I'm really pleased with it. Be sure to check it out. Of course, it's linked in the top right corner for your viewing pleasure. For this step, I like to use a black soap shampoo or a sulfate shampoo, and then I proceed to my Nizoral. Nizoral has revolutionized my scalp health and completely healed my scalp of fungus but you all can check out that particular video in the top right corner. It's linked in the cards, of course. Be sure to open it up and view it following this video. Now that short digression aside, I always use my Nizral on my scalp, leaving it on for 20 minutes before I rinse it out and move on to the next step. Next, we're going to move on to our deep conditioning process. So following my shampoo, I deep condition my hair. This step, I make sure to dilute my deep conditioner because my hair is ultra low porosity. Large molecules don't penetrate my hair shaft very easily. And even though there is some research that shows that African hair is higher porosity across the board than other types of hair, we're still all very diverse. I've experimented a lot with my hair, whether it's clean, whether it's dirty. It refuses to accept certain types of products and I have to work really hard to get it to do so. So as you can see, I'm gently massaging the diluted deep conditioner into my hair in the sections that I shampoo pooed it in. This helps keep everything really organized. For a comprehensive list of all my favorite products, be sure to check out my Holy Grail ebook. Now, instead of just linking that book individually, I'll link my bundle for you all where you can purchase everything that I've mentioned for a whopping 35% off with the added bonus of my hair care planner, which helps you keep track of what exactly you're doing to your hair. Now, following the deep conditioning process, I actually steam my hair. I did include a clip of that in this particular video because it's a little, just a little bit cumbersome. But if you guys want to see exactly how I steam my hair, you could watch my wash day video from like 20 million years ago, which I will link in the top right corner, the cards for your viewing pleasure. Now following the deep conditioner, I rinse with plain water. And after that, I rinse with, in this case, my hibiscus tisan. Now you all, if you've been watching my videos, have heard a lot about this beautiful blood red tisan. It's so rich and so nourishing. I have a video about it, again, linked in the same playlist that the other videos are linked in, in the top right corner. This is one of my favorite tisons. It's great for hair loss. It's great for hair growth acceleration. It's great for conditioning and nourishing the hair from the inside out. It's really phenomenal to consume and to apply topically. And for those who are suffering with hair loss, it has the potential to reverse your hair loss issues. 
Following that, I do my four-step moisture routine, but since this is strictly my wash day, I'm not necessarily going to show you all how I style my hair since everybody does that a bit differently. But if you would like to see my four-step moisture routine following my wash day, then please be sure to drop some pink emojis in the comment section down below. Wow, so we made it through my wash day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it. Again, don't forget, if you guys want access to everything that I use to make this wash day happen, it's going to be linked in the top right corner in the cards. My hair growth bundle, 35% off for a limited time only. Now it's time for me to get going. You know, we're finished here essentially, but before I say goodbye to you, please, of course, comment down below. Thumbs up once again. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy this video. It's very important and helps encourage me to make more videos for you all. Share this video with your friends and your loved ones and anyone who's struggling with their natural hair journey because of wash day or any other reason, really. And of course, last but never ever least, subscribe and turn on your notifications. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Thank you for supporting me. And I will see you in the next video. Ta-ta for now.